breaking news. NASA's Crew 11 mission at the International Space Station is coming to an abrupt end. The space agency just announced that all of the crew members are coming home ahead of schedule. One of those crew members suffered a medical situation on board the ISS, and NASA says they need to return as soon as possible. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie is live with those breaking details. Hannah. So Marlisa, this news coming down just within the last hour. The good news, NASA officials say this astronaut is stable, which means this is not an emergency disembarkment. Due to privacy, though, we don't know which astronaut was involved or how serious this medical issue is. We do know, though, however, NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman says it is enough of an issue to make the decision to bring Crew 11 back home early. That's nearly a month ahead of schedule. Crew 11 launched from the Space Coast in August. August, astronauts Zena Cardman and Mike Fink were on board, along with an astronaut from Japan and a Russian cosmonaut. They were supposed to be on board the ISS until mid-February, but now Dragon Endeavor will depart the ISS within the coming days. Now, this is actually the first time in NASA's history crew members will leave the ISS early for a medical evacuation. NASA astronauts and our teams in mission control and profession, our professionals who train for every possible scenario at every step of the mission, including moments just like this. I'm proud of the swift effort across the agency thus far to ensure the safety of our astronauts, and I know NASA and our commercial partners will successfully bring Crew 11 safely home. Again, NASA officials did not go into any detail about the kind of medical issue at play here or the astronaut involved. Now, with this crew's return, it means only one NASA astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts will be on board the space station. We're told Crew 12 was scheduled to launch mid-February. NASA says that may move up their time frame there. NASA also says expect another update within the next 48 hours on the disembarkment and re-entry into the Earth orbits. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Hannah, thank you for that update.